the electrical tool um, automatically sort of sticks to walls. Um, so to show that, I'm just going to go into the electrical tool. You can see we've got a tool in the toolbox here, which is a little switch. Hopefully you can tell that it's a little switch. Um, and at the, at the moment, I've got the Cadmage switch object selected. Uh, there's a couple of others available in here. And as you can see, I'm in the switches folder. There's also some PowerPoints and jack points. Um, but I'm going to stick with the switch for now. And at the moment, it's set to show just a standard switch. Um, however, you could choose multiple other types of switches, or you could modify this one to uh, have different sizes and that sort of thing if you needed to. Um, I'm just going to place it as is. So I click OK. And I can come in here, and I can just click down to place my switch object, as you would with any other object. Now, the magic comes in here when I get the cursor somewhere near a wall. So here, I click. And it's hard to tell, but it's actually placed it so that the base of it is on the wall. And if I come over here, it's much easier to see. Because I click there, it automatically rotates and places its base on the wall. So this is just a kind of a nice to have type thing, um, which makes it so that you don't have to place your switch and then rotate it and then drag it so that it's in the right spot. Um, just makes it nice and easy to get you started and get it, get things placed down. So. Put down the switches that we want here, and then uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to do some wiring. So I'm going to go and choose something to wire up. Um, let's not use a towel rail. Mm, is there anything sensible around? Let's let's go with a coffee maker. Oh, that's a nice one. Click OK and place down the coffee maker. And then I select the switches that I want involved in the circuit. So let's go with all three of those. And then the coffee maker, which is the thing that I want wired up. Obviously, again, same as with Keynotes, this is nonsense uh, stuff. It's just for the purposes of showing you how it works. Um, so I'm going to click on the CAD image menu and go to electrical this time. <clears throat> and then I'm going to choose the option to place a circuit. So I click OK, and it automatically draws up wiring between all of the selected elements. So you can see my coffee machine is now wired up to three switches. Um, you hopefully can also see that the switches have now changed so that they show that they are, um, what is the phrase for them? A single pole but multi-throw, I think is uh, the correct terminology for that. Um, so they've, they've done that automatically because they know that to make sense for a multi-switch circuit, they need to be like that. Um, and so we've got our wiring drawn on nicely. Um, and you can see if you select the wiring and jump into the settings, you can see there's some settings that you can do at the moment. It's set to show with a zigzag path and smooth links, but we can customize that uh, to show with wiggly links if we wanted to make it nice and wiggly looking. I know some people like to make their um, circuits look more hand drawn or something like that. So you can set that there and there's even um, settings to allow you to set the, the angle of the wiggliness and the amount of the wiggliness. Um, there's also a setting for the radius to show you how close it should go to the object that it's attached to. Um, and there's a couple of other settings in here as well, so you can set the pen color and that sort of thing, fairly really standard stuff. 